Why do we read newspapers? Anyone? It's not a trick question. Sport, get information, entertainment, news, right? A lot of us buy them newspapers for the news, but most of it is entertainment, particularly if you read The Sun or The Mirror, which are comics. But the, the, um, what, what do we, how do we go about reading newspapers? Does, does anybody have an idea? For instance, you know, if I've got this newspaper here, and I'm looking for things to read, how do I go about doing that? Headlines. Headlines. We all do it. That's, that, that is a facet of, um, oh, that's a facet of human behavior. When we look at newspapers, do you mind if I use your, you do, that's tough. So what we do is that we, we look at the newspapers and we scan the headlines, don't we, as we go in. We're not aware that we're doing it. It's a subconscious thing. We don't read everything in the newspaper. Who cares that, you know, you, you, some of it, um, I'm delighted 15 months was an insult. Oh, well, no, that probably is interesting. But a lot of the, 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 the headlines, we read them and, and we're not interested. So we move on to the next headline and we kind of go through the newspaper looking for things that we want to read. So the headline, certainly in an advertisement, is the ad for the ad. And the headline in a newspaper story is, is kind of the, the ad for the rest of the story. And that's what we're reading. And we're just picking out those things that are important. So we tend to look through the newspaper like this, don't we? We turn it over and we're looking at the headlines. So if we're looking at the headlines as we go through all of this, what are we not doing? We're not looking at ads, are we? So, so what's wrong with this picture? Because there are, as you go through here, see there's an ad there, there's an ad there, right? Go over the page, there's an ad down here, over the page again, uh, there's an ad there, big ad in the corner there, oldie, certainly wouldn't look at theirs. Um, this one doesn't have that many ads in this time, there's ads down here, big ad there, somebody's bum there, I'll look at that, yeah. And um, an ad here, ads here. Do we look at the ads? People don't look at the ads because it's like, if I say to you all now, point to something that is green in the room. Please, do it. Something that's green. Yeah, yeah. We do. We look around the room, but our mind is focusing, our conscious mind is at the exclusion of everything else and all other colors is looking for green. When we're going through that newspaper, we're looking for new stories to read. And subconsciously, or even unconsciously, we blank out everything else other than the headlines. That means although your peripheral vision sees these ads, peripherally you, they're there, we ignore them because we're not looking for purple or orange, we're looking for green, we're looking at the headlines. So what's this tell us? It tells us why most marketing and advertising in that kind of media doesn't work. Because it's not a headline. Look at this one here. This is for, this is Harvey's. They sell, I'm guessing, because there's a sofa on there, sofas. They sell sofas, right, and furniture. So, but there's no headline there. There's Harvey's right in the corner and 60% off. But I'm not looking for a red headline, am I? We're looking, what color headlines are? What, what? Black. They're black, right? So you're looking for black font. Now there's a clue in all of this. If you wanted, a, if you wanted to write an ad that people would look at, how do you reckon you should do it? Yeah, advertorial, making it look like a story with a headline. So in other words, what kind of, what kind of, font, what kind of font are these newspaper stories in? It is, it's Times Roman, this stuff. Uh, and that is a, what we call a sans serif, isn't it? A sans serif means with curly bits, yeah? Oh, is that a serif, I'm sorry, yeah. Sans serif is without the curly bits, yeah? So you want a serif font, Times New Roman. It's common, it's a web font, it's there on your computers. And you want to make it big. You want to make it look like a headline. And then, what else do you want to do that's going to make people think it is a newspaper story? Lots of words. Lots of words, lots of text, lots of copy, maybe even columns. Now, do you know the reason why most people don't like those kinds of ads? Because 
that you're selling them to because they don't look very nice. You know, they want like that add on that thing there, does your bark have too much, does your bark have enough bite or whatever the nonsense is that he puts on there? You know, but it's a nonsense, it's a platitude. Now we, we've tested this over and over again and, and every direct marketer knows that, you know, this works and that's why there is a term called advertorial which is the way they describe these kinds of ads, but the fact is they work. You go to Australia or in the US, you see lots of them. In the UK and Europe, not very many at all. Done about New Zealand. Same. Okay. So, um, so the, the idea is, really, is that we want to, we, you know, we have to do it that way. Now, of course, there's, there's, there's something odd here. Does that mean, therefore, that all these ad agencies, multi-billion dollar ad agencies, are they all wrong? Am I saying that, hang on a minute, they there's, there's, don't work? Well... I kind of am particularly for the small and medium-sized businesses. Those small and medium-sized businesses, they tend to see these, these ads, these big ads that appear in here where they've got multi-millions of budgets, and that's how they advertise, because they see that and they think, oh, that's, what, that's how to do it. But it isn't. You know, these are image ads. These are ads where, um, you know, they're projecting an image rather than projecting you know, something that, that they're trying to get people to buy, even though that's their intention, doesn't work very well. So ad agencies, in many ways, you know, um, am I saying they're wrong? Yeah, I am. Uh, there's only one ad agency uh, that, that uses this kind of system, the big ad agencies, and that is Ogilvy and Mather. David Ogilvy, you know, a, a name from the 50s, 60s, 70s, anybody that's seen Mad Men on the TV might have heard that name. Uh, Madison Avenue, uh, but he built a big agency based on direct marketing. In other words, using these kinds of techniques. And they work because they fit in with human psychology. People are going to go through, they're going to see that your headline that you've done for your client's business and they're going to read that. Now, they, they're going to quickly recognize it's, a, it's an advertisement, but they're not going to feel cheated or, you know, angry unless it's a stupid ad. It's just going to attract their attention. And at the end of the day, what do we want to do? Attention. That's right. We want to, as people are reading that newspaper, we want to interrupt their attention. That's how advertising works. But this stuff clearly isn't cutting the mustard. It's not making it because subconsciously we're blanking it out. Right? It all hangs together, doesn't it? Any questions?